Hi there. In this video, we're going to cover why all Final Fantasy XIV players should always do their weekly lockouts of current alliance raid and current raid tier. This process will teach you how to upgrade your gear for years to come. Now, because I don't want to have any spoilers for the story, I will refer to alliance raid as just that and the raid tier as AFA. Now, when the new alliance raid comes out for the current expansion, they have a weekly lockout loot. This is for two reasons. One is gear lock in order to limit the high tier gear you can get. Of course, we can outpace this as new patches come out, but that is months in between. If you use cap lock tombstone gear, then you should not be necessarily needing this for your main job because you might already be above the item level that that alliance raid is offering. Usually though, they are really cool glamours like the one with Endwalker alliance raid being no exception. Secondly, it will offer you a coin. Now these coins alliance raid offers are very important for months to come, so you really want to make sure to never miss one. Currently, we get one coin a week as it is restricted. This coin will allow you to upgrade your 590 tombstone gear to 600. You will turn this coin into either twine or coating from some NPC vendor in the expansion. The Endwalkers is located here. With this twine, you will then go to the tombstone vendor and give him your 590 gear piece and the twine to which you will receive the augmented version 600. Now, if you did the Alliance Raid every week, you can complete a full set of gear in about nine weeks, five gear, four accessories. The last ring has to be another set as usually they are unique and you can only equip one. Now there's a way to shorten this process and that is a sack of nuts you can get from hunts. This vendor in Old Charlene will let you trade 2,000 sack of nuts for coating and 3,000 for twine. So you can upgrade if you have those, if you do hunt trains. Once you complete your first set or have a mixture and don't need any more, you don't have to do alliance raid anymore. This is absolutely incorrect. You still need to do the weekly lockout as these coins you get will benefit you for almost the entire expansion. As new sets of gear come out to upgrade with new patches, we will refer back to these coins that we get now. Once we get the second alliance raid continuing the story in a future patch, it will now require one coin from alliance raid 1 and one coin from alliance raid 2 in order to get the coding entwined, so it will be relevant for a long time. So continue stacking these coins up and do not get rid of them. Let's talk about AFA, the current raid. This will allow you to obtain the 590 weapon. You will need to usually do the highest tier, so right now it's 1 through 4, so you'll need to do the 4th one once a week to get an unsung blade, to which when you gather 4, you can turn this in for a discal tombstone. This combined with a certain amount of capped tombstones will allow you to turn in for a weapon of your choice. Usually your main job is your first choice. Now we cannot upgrade our weapon just yet as casual players. This right is only reserved for those who do savage tier content currently. But as new gear comes out and upgrades, we eventually will get the right as a normal content player to upgrade. Savage tier players pretty much can get ahead of a few item levels as reward for completing hard content. Now this process is true for almost every expansion that comes out. So if it is an endwalker, the next one will do something similar. I wanted to take the time to explain the process in order for new players to start understanding how to upgrade your gear for years to come. If you got any value out of this video, then make sure to limit break through that subscribe button down below. And if you want to continue watching Endwalker tutorials and guides, then you can click here.